Hey guys, Mitch here again, got another tutorial for you. This one's going to be in Cinema 4D and it's going to be how to get, um, well, what you call them, uh, vectors or images, outlines, and I'm not sure what the correct word is for them, but you'll see what I do and you can call them what you want. So I'm going to go to the internet and I've got this picture of the star, nice and simple. So I'm just going to drag this into Photoshop or just save it and open it in Photoshop, but I just don't want this on my computer, so I'm just going to drag it in. So just let it load. Here we go. Alright, so there's a few ways to do this. You can either get the, um, what's it called again? I can't remember what it's called. The lasso tool with the straight lines, and you can just click at the top, and you're just going to want to go all the way around the outside of the star like this. I'm just doing it roughly because I want to make this tutorial nice and quick because I have to do uh, week 4 off right after this as well because I'm not going to be here to be able to make it next week and so I'm, so I'm just going to go all the way around here like this it's a bit rough right there and after I've done that see we've got like a nice the nice dotted line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here in the paths um, bar I don't know where yours will be but mine's um, all the way at the bottom and I'm going to make work path. Intolerance can be just one or two is good, or one one or two is pretty much fine. So I'm going to do that, and then you can see the lines have turned into um, just non dotted, but they're just a stroke path. And so yeah, down here is work path, and it's a work path, and it's in the shape of the star. So from there, you're just not going to want to touch anything. You're a file export path to Illustrator, <coughs> and then I'm just going to save it to my desktop, blah blah blah, whatever. But I'm not going to save it yet, I'm just going to show you guys what else you can do. So I'll delete that path, and what else you can do is you can get the um, the magic wand, and you just click in the middle, and see the dotted lines back again, and you just go make work path, and tolerance one again, and then you have your star. Or, if you're skilled, and it was a round object, you could get the pen tool, and just draw around it, but uh, that takes, that would just be pointless on this. So I'm going to make work path. Why is it not letting me make work path? That's just silly. Well, that's weird. No clue why it's doing that, guys. Sorry. Let me see if that works. Hmm, that's weird. Alright, I'll just go back to my previous idea. It's kind of a backfire. Sorry about that. I'll figure that out and I'll put it in the uh, in the description or I'll comment on the video of what, how to fix that. Never happened to me before. Okay, so I'm just going to go around drawing this, and it, and it doesn't have to be neat or anything. It's just to get the general shape. So I'm going to make my work path. Yep, and then I'm going to go file, export paths to Illustrator, <coughs> and work path. I'm just going to call this star, and leave it as .ai. Okay, so once that's saved, you're going to go to Cinema 4D. Go File, Open, and go to your Desktop and Find Star. You can see I've done these before, and um, yeah, it's just testing. So I'm going to open the star up. It's going to come up with this. You're just going to want to leave it the same, and there you go, you have a star. And you can now you see that where you haven't done it perfectly straight or anything, you can see there's bumps, and they're all down here. It's all rugged and everything. So I, I'm not bothering about that at the moment, I'm just going to show you guys what to do in the tutorial. So see here, I don't have a, um, sometimes there's a folder if it has more than one part, but since I only have one selection, then there's only one part. Now, there's a little problem that we may occur when I do this. Sometimes it won't go 3D, and with a, with a one layer, see we're lucky and it goes 3D, but sometimes if it has more than one layer, you won't get, um, Oh, so if I, I'll just show you. So if I open up um, arrows, there's more than one layer here. See there's heaps like that and you can just move each one around to different things and it's in a folder. See there's one arrow, two arrow, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And if I just grab that arrow folder and put it into extrude nerves, then it doesn't do any of them. But if I go like this and just copy all of these and drag them out and then delete the folder. Don't make sure the folder's not underneath the extrude nerve. And I just do one at a time, then each will go 3D. 
So you've got to make an extrude nerves for each of those and drag them in. So that's just a quick example of that, and let's continue back here. Okay, so now that we've done that, might go a bit fancy on it, since got, I've got some time, we can go a bit fancy on it. So I'm going to click on the extrude nerves, and I'm going to go to caps. I'm going to go to cap, click on this cap, and go fillet cap, and also here, fillet cap. Now remember guys, this is going to look pretty shitty, because I didn't take my time on outlining it. But just bear with me, and it's pretty much just an example. So for radius, I might put 10, oh no, actually I like 5, and another 5 here, so 5 on each. There we go. So if you render it out, it's got a nice smooth look around it. Okay, so I'm going to call a cool color trick as well. I'm going to make a uh, material, make my color, uh, let's just make it blue, because I like blues. And then I'm going to go to reflection, and I'm going to click here where it says texture, and I'm going to go Fresnel. And it's just going to give it a nice glow on that. So just leave that like that. And I'm going to click on that and go Control C, and then Control V, or Command C, Command V for Max, which I have, but I just don't say it. I'm just going to change this color to a, a gray, silvery color, and it's going to make it come out silver because of the um, the Fresnel on it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this onto it, and I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to drag this one onto it. And where it says selection, I'm going to pipe in C1, and then click. And then we're going to go like this, and see, the blue is on the back, and since I put C1 on the, on the silver layer, it's going to come up on the top. Or you can also do R1 for the blue layer, and it will do the same, and then don't do anything to the, um, uh, don't do anything to the silver layer. Okay, so I'm just going to go a bit fancy, I might finish this off for you guys. I'm going to go floor, and I'm just going to change the P rotation to 90, and go apply. And then drag it a little back a bit so we can have some of that. And then we're going to go, and I'm going to just going to drag this. Oh no, we don't actually need a color on that, don't worry guys. I'm going to do light. I'm just going to drag this up, and across, and And then that gives it a nice, so you can see the a nice reflection. See, that's looking horrible right now, but that's just because I didn't take my time on the, and add a shadow. If you guys don't know how to do that, you just click on the light, and, there's, and along these bars there's a shadow, and you just change it to shadow mat soft, or ray traced, or area. So I just use soft, because it's the nicest. And there you go. So you can pretty much do as much detail on it as you want, or anything. I've actually done, um, I've actually deleted it off my computer, but I had stars inside stars inside stars inside stars and it looked really cool and then I rotated one in the background to make it have um, more points so yeah that's pretty much that guys I'm gonna get on to making week 4 tutorial right now so yeah that's pretty much it guys and I'll talk to you later bye